Now that we're on the topic of VPNs, let's take a look at how Global Mantics will be connecting their iPad users into the corporate infrastructure. So I have this simple network diagram up, and you can see the iPad users are connecting into the internet. This can be through a 4G connection or a Wi-Fi hotspot at a hotel or even the local Starbucks. It doesn't matter as long as they are connected to the internet. Now on the corporate infrastructure side, the internet connection comes into their Cisco border router, which then connects to their WatchGuard security appliance. Everything to this point would be insecure. It would not have to occur within a VPN. So if I did a ping from the iPad to the external interface of the WatchGuard security appliance, I could get replies. Now, between the WatchGuard security appliance and the Dell PowerEdge server, which are inside the corporate network, I obviously want those resources secured, and that's where the VPN is going to come in. So the VPN will be established between the iPad and the WatchGuard XTM security appliance. The security appliance will perform authentication. It will establish you know, the phase one and phase two settings of the VPN connection. So everything that's necessary to bring up the tunnel will occur here. And since I mentioned authentication, let's take a quick peek at that because the iPad VPN client supports excellent authentication, proven authentication methods. These methods include MS Chat V2, RSA Secure ID and Crypto Card to support two-factor authentication. We also have support for X509 digital certificates, or even shared secret methods. Beyond that, looking at authentication protocols for 802.1x authentication protocols, we have everything from EEP TLS to EEP TTLS, all the way to PEEP version 0 and version 1, and LEAP. As far as digital certificate file extensions go, you can support .cer, .crt, and even .der. Now let's see what that means real world wise. So the first part of this is taking a look at our WatchGuard security appliance inside the corporate network. So I'll come down and pull up my WatchGuard system manager. This is Global Mantics configuration. I'll pop up into VPN under mobile VPN and IPsec, and you'll see that there is a policy that governs iOS users. In this policy, we have multiple options. There are options that define where the VPN tunnel is authenticated. So when the iOS connection is attempted, and the user credentials are passed, it is authenticated against an internal database in the security appliance. What is allowed access to on the corporate network as far as when the VPN tunnel is established? Well, in Global Mantic's case, they allow their iOS users to access any portion of that trusted corporate network. We need IP addresses to be assigned to our iPads when VPN tunnels are established. These are IP addresses that belong on the internal trusted network. These are not internet routable IP addresses. So you'll see that Global Mantics has established an IP pool from 100 to 129, which gives them 30 addresses to cover all 30 of their initial deployed iPads at one time although it's unlikely that all 30 of them would be connecting a VPN tunnel at exactly the same moment. But if they do, it is supported by the backend technology. Our IPsec settings are pretty straightforward. We're going to use a pre-shared key, which is a phrase or key string that the iPad will pass to the security appliance and it will verify is correct to establish the tunnel. The, the key expires every hour so it will be renegotiated or reconfirmed 
every hour. This makes sure that you don't have tunnels going stale, creating security problems. For encryption, we want to use a pretty intense version of encryption that completely complies with our acceptable use policy that was defined at Global Mantics. So in this case, we have AES 256-bit encryption and SHA-1 authentication. Well, that's it on this end, the infrastructure end. So let's take a look at what happens on the iPad end. All right, we're over on our iPad and let's take a look at how simple and straightforward it is to configure the IPsec VPN connection necessary to connect into Global Mantics. I'll begin by tapping my settings app, make sure I'm in the general settings category, and I will come over under the general settings and select VPN. Once that's selected, I'll simply tap add VPN configuration, and I'll be presented the add configuration dialog. First thing for Global Mantics is to tap IPsec because they will be using an IPsec connection. Now, as I mentioned earlier, although this is Cisco technology that's embedded in iOS, it doesn't really matter if you have a WatchGuard firewall or a Juniper firewall or even an F5 Networks firewall. If you use IPsec VPNs, this client will help you connect into your network. So let's enter a description. There we go. For server, I need to enter in the IP or DNS address of the security appliance where this VPN will terminate. In Global Mantic's case, this is vpn.globalmantics.com. There we go. Account. This is the user account in that Firebox DB that we said would be providing the authentication. So in my case, that account is my alias. I need to go ahead and type in my VPN concentrator password. It's important that we leave use certificate off in this case because we are not using digital certificates as you saw in the configuration. Group name, this is defined in the Firebox database where authentication is performed. And in Global Mantics case, it is known as Global Mantics iOS. We will be using a shared secret for this tunnel so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. We are not using any form of proxy, so we will leave that off. And that's all there is to it. Our VPN is now configured on the iPad, and we can give it a try. The last thing we need to do is click Save. You now see that it is a configuration under the VPN Settings tab. So when I connect the VPN, this selected configuration represents the settings that will be used to create the VPN tunnel. This allows you on your iPad to have multiple VPN connections. You could be connecting into different offices, different corporations. In Global Mantic's case, we are connecting into their regional headquarters where that XTM security appliance is located. And we do not need any other configurations. All right, I guess there's nothing left for us to do, but give her a go and see if our work will be successful. Now, all there is to connect the VPN connection is simply tap the VPN slider so it moves from off to on. It will say starting while it establishes the tunnel, and as you can see, it connected right up. Well, I hope this has given you an idea of just how simple and straightforward it is to configure VPN connections from the iPad into corporate infrastructure 
such as that used at Global Mantis.